Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today is Friday, September 2nd, and the beginning of Labor Day weekend. So first, I want to wish everybody a happy day, Labor Day weekend, before it even starts. <laughs> but today, you know, I've been, this topic came up in my head, and I looked through my notes, uh, of having good character. Because as a broker and helping 500 plus agents and thousands of sales, well, let me say thousands of sales and over, over 2,500 or more sales that close, <laughs> that actually close every year as a company, as an office, the thousands and thousands and thousands of ones that never close, the offers, the things that fall apart, all of those that I go through as a broker and helping agents is that agent character, your character as a colleague or uh, agent to agent, agent to buyer, agent to seller, agent to customer, client, your integrity, no matter where you are, your character is something that sticks with you. And you never know how that character can be tarnished so easily by just a conversation. So I do everything. Am I perfect with it? No, but there's th the, there's certain things. These are six traits that I think about constantly. Am I the person of the best character in the world? Am I the number one people out of millions? No. Am I flawed? Yes. Do I have many, 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 many people? I have many, many people that call me and talk to me a, 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 every week or whatever and tell me, Tony, I've talked to this person, that person, has such great character. I hear such so high, great things about you and all of this because I work hard on my character. But then there's people out there that think I don't have great character just because the sheer numbers, there's situations and things and things taken the wrong way or having a, a, a tough conversations. Do I get heated sometimes when there's, when I think there's something done wrong and, and I feel an agent that doesn't have good character or things not going right and someone taking advantage of another person, I get heated. I get in there. Will that person think I don't have good character? Probably they probably make it up in their heads because they think I don't have good character because I'm attacking their character about what they're doing. That could happen. Not everybody is perfect for everybody. But I just wanted to give you these because it's, it's come up recently. I mean, I get them all the time, but recently just like, wow, I'm coming across a lot of people with not good character. And I go, I got to get this message out. So went back through all my notes. And it came up with my six characters uh, or traits of having good character just in life, but especially in business. So here are these six things. Number one is integrity. So to me, you can look up the, the definite definition of integrity. The definition of integrity is one of the definitions is a whole or unbroken, undivided integrity, like the integrity of something like the integrity of uh, an object. So what I think of integrity is your principles, that when you have good integrity, hopefully for good things, <laughs> good integrity, because I think, in my opinion, I think there's bad integrity, could have bad principles, but you're whole with them. People know, I feel, when you have good integrity, people know what Whatever your principles are, whatever your belief system are, whatever you are as a person, you are it. You are stone. You they know what they're going to get when they come to you because you're you have such great integrity. You're not going to break your whole, whatever that wholeness or is. That's your integrity. You know what you're going to get. So that's number one. Two, honesty. Honest. I don't know anybody that wants to deal with anybody that's dishonest. Honesty, you know, I've heard this said before, it's not, uh, uh, honesty is not a good policy to have. It's the only policy to have is to be honest. Now, 
honesty doesn't mean to me in real estate is to say everything on your mind. Honesty doesn't mean you're, you're just allowed to unload on people everything that's in your mind. This is sales. You can't walk into someone's house and just be honest exactly how you feel is about their house, right? I mean, everybody's honesty is different. So honest, what I mean by that is helping people. And what I want the core of what I'm trying to get across is honest with people on how you feel and what you're going to do for them and be honest with them about you're not going to, what you're going to charge them, what your, your duties is helping them. Honest with them what your, what your relationship's gonna be. Not honest with them like, oh my God, those pants look horrible on you. Or, oh my God, I can't believe you're living like this in this house. I've never seen a house so dirty. Or honest with them like, oh my God, you know, whatever. Fill in the blanks. And I know you could fill those in. I know you could fill those in because there's, if you're in real estate, there's things and things you said like, oh my God, I couldn't be honest with these people. You're not being honest. You're just not saying everything that needs to be said. But I'm sticking with the honesty part of you're being honest with what you're going to do, your, your uh, duties and your help, your costs. That's the honesty I'm thinking about. Three, loyalty. Loyalty to me is, is backing, supporting, loyal to not a person, so to say to your beliefs, just be loyal to yourself, that you're loyal to yourself, loyalty to people. Loyalty is not blind loyalty. I'm not talking about that. Sometimes I think today's society, people feel, I got to be loyal to this person or this thing or this place, no matter which way they go or whatever they say. And that's not for me, That not that type of loyalty. But Loyalty, knowing that if we're going down the right same path, like in a business path, if we're going in this, I'll be loyal to our journey together. That we're we all, if you know, me as an agent and a buyer and a seller, I'm loyal to you, I'm here with you. Good, bad, ugly, we're going to find the house of your dreams, we're going to sell your house, we're going to do this. I'm going to be here for you, I'm loyal to you for with whatever you need from me within my job description. <laughs> whatever I had to I throw that in there, what I'm loyal to you with whatever you need from me to get us to that goal that we both agreed to. That you're not going to fall off the planet. You're loyal to the task. That's what I wanted to explain in this video today to realtors. So when you have your client, you go, I'm with you. I'm in it. I'm with you. I'm loyal to you. I'm not going to side with the other side uh, or go, you know, do anything that's not in the best interest to you. That's loyalty in real estate to me. Number four, self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice is showing, um, stick to on the real estate side of things, showing your clients that you're going to go above and beyond what you need to do. Self-sacrifice. I'm going to take more of my time to help you. I'm going to take that call late at night. I'm going to give up. You know, if you need me and because we're I'm loyal to this journey to get to your house, the, the only time you have is Saturday at two o'clock. And you have, that's the only time you have an inspection and I have something else to do that's not more important than that, like something emergency, I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure I'm there. I'm going to self-sacrifice. So I have to give up something personally to help you with your journey. And you, the thing I'm loyal to, I'm going to self-sacrifice. And you got to remind your clients of that. You've got to. It's not, it's not fault. Like, ah, oh, two o'clock got, you know, I, I was supposed to take my son to a basketball game at two o'clock, but you're, but this is the only day we could do it. So I'll have to take him to another basketball game. It's okay. My opinion, my opinion, it's okay to explain to people the sale, sacrificing things that you're doing to help them. I know I've seen this so many times in 30 years in real estate at the end you say, you know, you're going to see this. I'm, I promise you, 
little training. I know this video is going to go longer than I expected, but little training. You can't, at the end of a listing agreement, you have it three months, six months, at the end of a listing agreement, you can't, and when those that seller says, hey, you know, we're going to start interviewing other uh, list agents to see what they have to offer before we go back to you, you can't at that time start listing off all the self-sacrificing things that you were doing over the last six months to help them sell their house. Look at it. I gave up this. I remember you needed me there. Remember this, this. And then the then agents are just spilling out all this stuff to try to sell them on relisting with them. Do it along the path. Do it along the path. Be honest with them. There's where we go. I could throw back the honesty. Yeah, oh man, you know, it's scheduled. It's supposed to, you know, I'll just throw, I was supposed to take, you know, my my wife. My 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 husband to we had a special lunch plan that day. Let me check with them to see if I can move that lunch to a dinner or that. Uh, because if you do that without telling them, they won't see the sac sac self sacrifice you did. Uh, so that's four, five accountability. Accountability is my favorite word because the people that great character, great leaders, great people have no problem being accountable. Please tell all my Century 21 agents anytime, day, night, midnight, on Sunday, if I'm not accountable, I if I forgot to call you back, a busy day, if, it, if you needed something from me or our office, if you need, you make us accountable, I work for you. So this is all my Century 21 home series. I have no problem being accountable by what I say, what I do, what I promise to do at all, ever. I love that. You know, they help, you know what accountability helps me do? It's, it's, it's a, it, to me, it is uh, a checks and balances for me, just in case. I try to be the most organized. I try to do the best service. I try to do everything I can to help people as much as possible. I love being accountable. Just tell me, uh, oh, Tony, forgot to, to do this. Or, hey, Tony, uh, I really need this because, and I didn't understand you needed something a little bit more than what I gave you. Make me accountable. That helps. It's my checks and balances to make sure I'm not missing anything. Be accountable. Tell your clients, hey, anytime if I'm saying something or do something, you have no problem. I have no problem because I am I try to be the best communicator I can, the best service I can. If you, at any one point in time, you think you need to talk to me again, I didn't clarify something, but if you call me, I have no problem. I have no problem. You keep me on task. You keep me. I'm not, it's not your job to keep me on task, but if I think I'm on task and you don't think I am or something I'm missing or, you know, got busy, something, you tell me accountability, accountability that no one that's a great leader, no one that has great, great, great character is someone that doesn't like to be held accountable for what they do. And then six and last is uh, self-control. Self-control, I kind of grouped this with self-control and making decisions. So someone with good character can be have the self-control to make decisions when they, they need to be made, find help to make hard decisions, work with people, have the self-control to go, hey, I should not make this decision on my own, or I need to uh, find some help. Have the self-control, the self-awareness to know when you should do things, not do things. So have self-control before you do all the other things that you need to do to help people. So some people just go out there and just like, you know, in life, everything that I, I, I try, and I don't know if this is, though, these are things in your head, is that in, in my head now, as these words are coming out of my mouth, they're already in my head, and then they come out of my mouth. <laughs> I have the self-control, and I think a lot of us do, is that there's nothing 
that's coming out of my mouth right now that I already didn't say in my mouth. So I know I'm calculating every word that comes out of my mouth. I calculate of that. I have the self-control before I do something, I think about it. I, before I do anything, I, I calculate and have the self-control to make sure everything I'm about to do and kind of like playing chess with even my words have that type of self-control before I do things. Uh, and say things. So that's where I mean the self-control. Self-control is also when you have that emotions, you let it sit for a day before you make that stuff. Because you're going to be in this business, you're going to have that other agent that gets you all upset. You're like, all right, I'm going to have self-control. I'm not going to have this conversation now. I'll have, I'll have it an hour after I figure out exactly what to say, what's the best way to do things. Or if you have your client that is really off the deep end and not understanding what you're trying to do to help them and they're they're blaming you for something when it's not nothing you did, have the self-control to really sit down with yourself and go, listen, they're stressed out about the situation. They're stressed out about money. They're stressed out about this. They're, they're taking it out on me. I'm the self-control. I'm not going to react right away. I'm going to gather my thoughts and not bring myself to the same emotion level and help them out. That's just examples of what I see in what, self, what someone with good character has good self-control. We all know people that have no self-control. <laughs> we all do that. So those are the six things, integrity, honesty, loyalty, self-sacrifice, accountability, and self-control. Six great traits to have good character. And that will help you in life, help you with people, help you in business, and definitely help you in real estate and building a great career in real estate. So that's all I had to say for today. I know I took a little longer than I expected. I was, I knew this was going to be a little bit longer <laughs> than I, I thought, but a good thing to think about over this holiday weekend. So enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Remember, Century 21 Homes are ages or any agent out there. If you need me, call me, text me, put you on my calendar. I will promise I will do my best to help you out with whatever you need. So have a great day, great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. I'll probably do a video too. Bye-bye.